We just got an absolute bomb dropped on us for Call of Duty 2023, a Modern Warfare 3 game campaign early access, a multiplayer beta. We have dates here and much more to go through in this video. Be sure to subscribe for the latest Call of Duty updates. First up here from Insider Gaming, Call of Duty 2023 will have a beta, campaign early access, and more. Just some absolute crazy stuff to go through in this video, so stay tuned. Be sure to watch the entire video. Let's break down all of this info. There has been a lot of confusion about Activision's next entry into the Call of Duty franchise as of late, but Insider Gaming has been able to verify with its source that there will be a fully fledged Call of Duty 2023 title. Previous rumors have suggested that the game will be premium DLC for Modern Warfare 2, and although that appears to have been true at one point, Insider Gaming understands that the project changed direction to become a full premium standalone release planned for 2023. As for the content of the title, the details are scarce, but the game will be heavily connected to the Modern Warfare series. If recent Call of Duty titles are to go by, though, expect a lot of remastered maps for multiplayer. The games associated with the Modern Warfare series would suggest that the game could be called Modern Warfare 3, but Insider Gaming was unable to verify the game's name at this point as it's not yet decided, and we'll talk more about that later on, of course. I believe it's definitely going to be some type of MW3 uh, game based on what we saw at the ending of MW2's campaign, pretty much teasing, and I don't want to spoil it again. I know it's back from October, we already played it, but it's pretty much teasing MW3 is next up in the storyline. But some more stuff here. One key detail about the game, though, is that according to Bloomberg's Jason Schreier, the game will be developed by Sledgehammer Games. This is a key detail that Insider Gaming was able to corroborate, but it's understood that the title is a huge collaborative project across all of Activision's Call of Duty Studios, like most of their COD games these days. C crazy stuff here. Insider Gaming has been able to verify that this year's title is scheduled to have two beta weeks, an early access campaign period, a full marketing strategy consistent with past premium releases. In addition, we were also able to verify that the next entry will still be released on past generation consoles. As for the game's current key dates, we were unable to confirm a reveal date for the title, but we were able to pinpoint the key release dates currently penciled in for the title. So here are the current Call of Duty 2023 dates here. We have Beta Weekend 1, PS4, PS5, October 6th through October 10th. Pretty late here. Beta Weekend 2, for all platforms, October 12th through the 16th. Campaign Early Access beginning on November 2nd. And then the full release of this game, November 10th, 2023. So, absolutely unreal information here. Let's go through all of the questions we have right now. What is most likely going to happen? And what are my opinions on this here? So, First off, again, this is crazy, but not that surprising, just because obviously the rumor was that we would get a year two DLC season for MW2, and we would get not only new MP maps, but new campaign missions as well, and it would be some type of storyline connected to Modern Warfare 2. This is pretty much just that, but they're going to put some more content in it and package it as a premium game just like we thought they would. Now, obviously, it would have been crazy for them to sell a $60 to $70 DLC pack that wouldn't have not gone over well with people whatsoever, but if it's an actual full game, uh, that makes a lot more sense. Now, it's only going to work if the full game really has new content. If it's literally MW2.5 and it's the same exact game we have right now, but with some different maps and different campaign missions, that's going to suck. But if it really is a different game, you know, let's say Sledgehammer is the lead developer here. Of course, I do think IW will have a huge, huge role in this game, especially if it's connected to the Modern Warfare series. And other developers, Raven, of course, uh, High Moon Studios, they're all going to have huge parts of this game as well. But what's going to happen here is I do think there will be some big advancements and just differences in the gameplay to at least differentiate it from this year's game because again if it's the same exact game people are going to notice and that would not go over well so i don't want to act like i know what's going on behind the scenes but hopefully they at least get that done and it's a fun game to play and they actually listen to feedback and they make it almost maybe a better version of mw2 what we have right now this could also potentially explain why iw isn't really doing a lot for the dlc for this game right now maybe a lot of their efforts last minute are going towards you know helping sledgehammer make this 2023 you know mw3 game could that potentially be the reason maybe but then that begs the question what's going to happen for the dlc season and for cod 2023 i mean again if it's mw3 again 
what what what's the what's the what's going to happen here because they're just you know making the game and then not supporting it past a couple months i mean at this point they're kind of just making the game and not really having a full content season uh like we did in past call of duty i hope for the rest of mw2 and for cod 2023 they at least give us a good stream of content because it's gonna get pretty tiring uh pretty quickly if we just get a new game some content Obviously, you have different modes. You know, the raids are fun. You have a DMZ, Warzone 2. Like, oh, you know, you have a bunch of different things that you didn't really have in past Call of Duties, but we're not getting, especially for multiplayer, the content like we normally would. And I don't know, I would rather have them just taken a full year off Call of Duty and actually focus on the post-launch content because uh, people would enjoy it more if they were actually giving more content. And in turn, they would still make a lot of money on microtransactions. But of course, you know, I don't want to lose out on that yearly Call of Duty premium sale, which, you know, I understand why. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a business. So that's a huge part of their revenue. They have to make that money. I get it, whatever. But on the flip side, if you're not supporting this game whatsoever after it releases, people are going to get very tired very quickly. So, uh, you know, this is a crazy, crazy thing here. I, I, I honestly like this is I wasn't expecting this whatsoever. Um, it's not surprising. I just wasn't expecting it. I just didn't think this would happen here. But, you know, apparently we're getting this Sledgehammer's the lead developer. I don't think it's going to be like a Sledgehammer game. Uh, I, you know, we're not getting Vanguard 2. We're not getting uh, Advanced Warfare 2. It's going to be Sledgehammer as the main developer. But most likely it's going to be, you know, a ton of IW help and IW influence here. You know, we'll see what ends up happening with that. And to be fair, I know this is a different Sledgehammer, but Sledgehammer in part made one of my favorite games of all time, Modern Warfare 3, the original back from 2011 so you know i don't hate sledgehammer and i actually really did like advanced warfare so sledgehammer you know it, maybe if they're guided a little bit and they're you know guided in the right direction they could still help out with this game and make a really fun game but it, it's it's crazy it's very unknown i don't know how this game is going to play is sledgehammer just making campaign are they making all modes are they making just the mp is iw doing the campaign is it Beanox doing the campaign I mean, this is just going to be the craziest year ever. I really don't know what to expect. What we know right now is that it's going to be based on the Modern Warfare series. Very likely, it's Modern Warfare 3, continuation of this year's campaign, a continuation of this year's game. This is some wild stuff here. Let me know down below, what do you want to see for this year's Modern Warfare game? Would you rather just be a DLC update? If it is a premium game, uh, again, I would assume they're giving us a lot more content than just some maps and some campaign missions. I feel like it's really, they're going to try to make it a full-fledged game. Hopefully, it's actually a fully-fledged game. And it doesn't seem like a DLC update or something. So, it, man, this is going to be crazy. I, I can't wait to see how they're going to market this, reveal this, what the name is going to be. Is it MW3? Is it Modern Warfare? And then a spin-off name? Wild stuff here. So let me know down below your opinions on this. I'll be sure to, of course, update you guys on any further developments, what you guys think is going to happen here with COD 2023, um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to subscribe for more MW2 Warzone 2 and COD 2023 update videos like this, and I'll see you guys. Shout out to YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.